All right, so in the previous example, I mentioned a few times this idea of the, the tangent vector. I've kind of mentioned it a few times now, in fact. Um, the textbook, by the way, has one more example after this one. Exact same idea, except it's a three-dimensional vector, and I felt it was better to let the computer-generated graphics in the textbook um, stand for that example than to try and draw it myself. Um, so the idea here is that when you take the derivative of a vector-valued function, right, and you evaluate at a point, that vector that you get by evaluating the derivative at a point is tangent to the curve, right? If I drew the tangent line at that point, that vector would point in the direction of the line, right? Um, and, and so with that in mind, uh, we can say that uh, you know, a vector, let's say v, is tangent, um, let's underline that, right? To, and I'm going to, you know, be a little bit lazy about notation here. When I say tangent to R of t, I mean the graph of R of t, right? The curve that's generated by that vector valued function. Um, at, uh, at this point, t equals c, if v is, well, parallel but not zero, parallel to R prime of c, right? Typically, we, we would think of r prime of c as, you know, the tangent vector, but of course you can rescale. Um, you may, for example, want to take a unit tangent vector. Sometimes you want magnitude 1 for your tangent vectors, um, but we can, uh, we can do that, All right? And so then the, uh, the tangent line to the graph of r of t at... Um, C is going to be given by um, it's going to be given by L of t. Think of this as a vector valued function now, right? Parametric equation for a line. Well, we need a point on the line, but that's given by simply R of C, right? And then we need a direction vector for the line, but that's the tangent vector r prime of c, and then we put in t. Uh, and now, be careful that this t here, this is now the parameter for the line. It's not the parameter for the original vector-valued function. So maybe I shouldn't use the same letter. Um, we're used to always using t for these, but if you, know, if you want to avoid confusion, maybe you want to use s for the line parameter and save t um, for the vector-valued function parameter. That, that's going to work too.